What's up guys? Have you ever been to a wine tasting, dinner party, or a fancy restaurant and not know what to do with your wine? Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Olivia. And we're Wine Therapy. We created this channel for people who are interested in learning more about wine, but who may feel somewhat intimidated about everything that goes into it. So today, we're going to give you the six tips that go into wine tasting. Tip one, sight. The more you learn about wine, the more sight will be able to tell you how it tastes. Is it dark or bright red? Is it white? Is it clear? Is there sediment in it? All of these can, again, give you more background into how wine tastes. Tip number two, swirl. Exposing your wine to air may bring out more flavors to it. When the wine is exposed to air, it assists in the process of oxidation and evaporation, thus bringing out flavors in the wine that you may not even know exist. And that brings us to tip number three, smell your wine. Wine can literally have thousands of smells. It can smell like anything from mangoes and vanilla to leather and black pepper. Your sense of smell can often pick up on small subtleties that your taste buds just can't. Tip number four, make sure to always hold your wine glass by the stem. Although it is often a popular option to hold a wine glass in your hand, one should just hold it by the stem. Having your full hand on the wine glass can overheat your wine, changing its flavor. Before our last two tips, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to learn more about wine. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. That brings us to tip number five, sip wine twice. Have you ever taken a sip of wine and thought it tasted harsh? Typically, a first sip of wine is really intense in flavor. Because of this, you are often able to pick out more flavors in a wine on your second sip, once your palate has had a chance to calm down. Tip number six, swish. Once you sip the wine, you want to swish it around in your mouth a little. Allowing the wine to come in contact with all the different types of taste receptors on your tongue will, again, help you pick out the less obvious flavors in a wine. Next time you're at a restaurant or a wine tasting, remember, or sight, Swirl, smell, stem, sip, and swish. Or you just enjoy your wine. <laughs> Did we miss any tips? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.